I'll just come in there for a second, really. Well, you can tell that it comes forth. It's extended. Slides. Turns. Flexes. It's extended. Slide turns and flexes. Four to five. In five to six. Or five to five point five. It's still sliding, turning and flexing. And then from then on, varying degrees, it starts to extend a little bit as it turns and slides. Okay? So you were complaining that you were an early extender. Mm -hmm. What I would say is you would extend on the way back. Mm -hmm. And early extenders, it's not extension that's the issue. Early extenders don't get back into flexion. Now, as you're getting back into flexion, you're leading me. You're doing this. Externally rotating. Going out in front of the lead ankle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not doing this. Yeah. And it's not doing this. Yeah. So the act of going back into your flex, so from P4, the pelvis is sliding, turning, but it's also going back into its forward bend. It's more level at P4, the red cane, and it's more flex forward at P5 and P6. Yeah? So again, there's three things that are happening, and you're going into the ground. As you do that, the centre of the arc, your left shoulder, goes down and forward, which is this move you see all these good players going into the ball like this. Now once you're there, you can extend as fast as you need to depending on the club you're using.